Now I think we're ready to get started again. One of the candidates, Aaron Carroll, is not able to make it tonight. But uh, well, next we will hear from Kim Lewis. Kim Lewis. Hi. I'm Kim Lewis. I was appointed to the county board about a year ago to fulfill the last part of Lon Winky's term when he unfortunately passed away. Um, and I'm running this time to, for a full term. I moved to Twin Lakes in 1984 with Roberta, who's my wife and back there, and has some literature if you'd like some. Um, together we started a law practice and we've worked uh, together for over 35 years. We represent clients in Illinois and Wisconsin, and uh, I've been active in the community uh, throughout my time in Twin Lakes. I've been on the village board. I've served as a village attorney. I've been on the Twin Lakes Chamber Board uh, of Directors for over a decade, and have been a member of the chamber for much longer than that. Roberta and I coached and ran the Lakes Area Soccer League for about 10 years when my older kids were younger and I was a den leader for local Cub Scouts. Um, some of you may, may remember our bait shop in Marina on Lake Elizabeth where my, my youngest started working when she was seven. Um, my point is I've been here for a long time and I've done some things. My involvement in the community has been sincere and, and I've enjoyed it. It's a great place to raise a family. Um, and I want to help, help Twin Lakes continue this uh, effort to be the best community that we can. As I've walked around Twin Lakes knocking on doors and talking with people, it's apparent that many people are unaware they have a county supervisor um, at all. They're certainly not aware it's me, and so I've introduced myself. The county board actually oversees a budget of about $300 million, $75 million of which is on our tax bills, uh, real estate tax bills. The rest is through different revenue sources from state and county and, and federal government. Um, the county employs about 1,200 people and oversees a number of different areas, including the Sheriff's Department, Health and Human Services, the county parks, the county roads. Um, last year, as, as Rebecca had mentioned, we achieved a triple-A bond rating, which means a big deal in the world of finance, and it saves us, the, the county, a lot of interest um, in, in, in loans that we take out and bonds that we issue for various projects. When I started this job, one of the things, one of the conversations I had with, with most everybody was the, <laughs> what are we going to do about Lakeshore Drive? And so the first thing I did when I got on the board was found William Grady, who's in charge of the county roads, and said, what are we going to do about Lakeshore Drive? We need to rebuild it, we need to make it wider so it's safer, and we need to put in a walking and bike path. That project starts Hopefully this, this late summer, early fall, um, that's being done in, in conjunction with the Twin Lakes Village Board. I talk to a lot of Twin Lakes police officers. They just stop and talk to them. Um, one of the things we've talked about quite a bit is, is mental health issues that affect their ability to do their jobs. Um, the op opioid crisis continues to be a big problem for this community and, and every community, everywhere. It's just pervasive. Um, one of the things that I've been trying to do and, and, and the county board is trying to do is to put more resources into law enforcement in ways that help them do their jobs. It includes training, it includes social workers to intervene in situations where it's appropriate. A lot of times things can be de-escalated de and not use the resources of law enforcement um, and, and use other resources instead. There's always been a sense of, of, of Twin Lakes not, not getting their fair share of tax revenues back, back to the western end of the county. I'm continuing the effort to make sure that we get a fair and equitable distribution of tax dollars. We've done some things recently that you may have noticed, the, the Kenosha County Veterans Park on Katie and F is, is a nice example of that. If you haven't seen the Veterans Memorial, you should go see it, it's beautiful. Um, we have rebuilt County F, and I'm, I'm currently exploring with some of the other board members the feasibility of opening an assisted living facility in Twin Lakes in the old nursing home facility up the, up the hill from the Village Hall. That's in the preliminary stages. I live and work in Twin Lakes. I've been in this community 
out in this community every day. I will continue to work for you and make Twin Lakes a better place. I'm a reasonable and rational person. I work well with other people in order to achieve the things we need to do to make things better for all of us. I show up, I do the work, I get results, and I'm asking for your vote on April 5th.